One of your assignments requires that you create a file in Microsoft Word and then save it as .docx and that you then later convert the file into a .zip file so that you can extract that file and look down inside of what the open XML format looks like for all of the Office uh, tools. So here we have a Microsoft Word file. This is Word 2016 operating on a Windows 10 computer. Yours will look maybe slightly different, but it should be essentially the same. So I've created this Word file with one word in it, PyPy, and here's the title bar. So the title of the file you can see is PyPy.docx, and I have saved that file here to a folder called Demo on my computer, PyPy.docx. Now I cannot work with this file in the Windows Explorer as long as the actual Word document is still open and being processed by the computer. So I have to go back to the Word document and close it. And now in Windows Explorer I can work with this file. Now notice the file name pypy.docx and you can see clearly the .docx is showing. Now on Windows 10 on the ribbon here in the Windows Explorer if I click on view there's a checkbox over here that says file name extensions. If I uncheck that box you'll see that the .docx now is no longer shown. What Microsoft thinks is that if they'll stick the words over here in this area under type that they really don't need to put the .docx here. But people who work with computers professionally and need to know what kind of files they're working with need to be able to see their file extensions. And you'll see why that's even more important here in just a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. If you don't see a checkbox for file extensions on your computer, perhaps you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, there will be an option generally located up in this area of Windows Explorer. And your option will look something like this. It's going to come up and give you folder options dialog box and you'll select view and on the view tab you come down and there will be a checkbox here to hide extensions for known file types. If you cannot see the extension in your file name that is the default setting for Microsoft. Microsoft by default checks that box because they assume you don't need to see the .docx. So we're going to uncheck it though because we want to be able to see everything. So Click apply and click OK and that's the same setting as having this box here checked. Now there's two ways to change this file name. I could right click and then select rename but I like to just do it by clicking on it once and then clicking again that puts it into rename mode and then click at the end and then I'll put dot zip and when I hit enter the computer warns me that I'm changing the file extension and it says the file might become unusable well I know that so are you sure you want to change it yes now to be honest with you the dot docx file is gone and there's no way to go back at this point so be sure that if you needed that file that you have always made a backup of the file before you do it. This is only a test of a document that I'm willing to throw away. But if I were going to do this on an actual Word document then I would create a backup of the Word document so that I can always go back to that original file. So now it's a .zip file and I'm simply going to right click and then extract all. I like to leave the box unchecked that says show extracted files when complete. That simply opens another Windows Explorer window and I don't need to see that. So I'm just going to leave it right here and the default setting is that the file will be saved in the same folder where the original zip was found. So click extract and what we see here is that original .zip file that I tried to extract and here is that zip file. Now notice what it's called. It's called pypy.docx but notice that the icon shows that this is a folder it's no longer a file and there's no way to take this back from this point to a file. So we're going to just open this folder 
You look inside and see what the inside of this pypy.docx file looks like. We'll see that there are some folders and the information I've given you to study on this explains what all of these folders is about. I'm going to open the Word folder and then I'm going to select the document.xml. I'll just double click it. Mine on my computer opens up in WordPad which is sort of like Microsoft Word. It's just that it has very few features but you can actually create Word documents on this. So this is all XML. You can see the coding here. You may not know how to read this coding or what this coding does but it's just an XML file and you're actually looking at the document. Now you didn't type all this stuff. This is what Microsoft is putting into the file all by themselves because they want to keep this XML format that we find in Open XML. If I come down to close to the bottom of the file, there's that word PyPy right there. Now if I had put the Gettysburg Address or the US Constitution, I would see it all right here. It would be right here in the bottom part of this file and it would be contained all within these XML settings. This gives us a lot of information about the file and it can tell us about uh, problems, it can help us to find errors and mistakes, but again we can only come here for diagnostic purposes and what we would want to have is that original .docx file in Word format and we'd go back to that original file then and go in and make corrections that we might need to make based upon what we might find here. But this is what the guts deep down inside of a Word document look like.